Hello travelers, I'm Timothy French. We're in Speed, North Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town, center, and estate. So let's get started right here at their post office and this beautiful American flag flying overhead. There's the water tower out in the distance. Yeah, this is a small town, got an old building over here that looks like it could have been a gas station or something at one time, I'm not sure. Let's go around and see if we can see the front of it. Yeah, it looks like it's some kind of business, I ain't really sure. That's the only old building I've seen inside of town here. Drop a little bit further. See another American flag down there. Yeah, it's got a garage, so maybe that was a gas station at one time. It's got an interesting front facade on the one beside it. It's got some columns and all. Almost like it could have been a little bank at one time. It was nice for whatever it was. I think it, it was a bank. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let me see what it says. I see bank something trust company. Banking trust company. Farmers Banking Trust Company there. Well, that's cool. That's a cool old building. Hadn't been used for a bank in a long time, I imagine, though. Got a tree that needs to be cut down here. It's dead as a doorknob there. <laughs> well, let's get back and breathe. We'll drive around a little bit, show you, show you some of the houses and maybe end up over there where the fire department is. I don't know anything about this town. Looked online, couldn't find anything. Put in Speed, North Carolina history and found a page that said that they were looking for some history on the town, so. I don't know. Gotta be somebody that knows, so if you do, comment below and tell, tell us about your town. And like I say, it's got a grid section of rows back here. Looks like this was the original part of town. And then, of course, if you Go back on out that way, it's just country type houses on along the side, side of the road. All right, let's do it. Well, let's pull away from the post office here and ride down one of their streets. See what it looks like down in here. It's like a, a lot of lots of houses are gone and empty. I tell you what, it's nice little lots, big lots if you can buy them. I don't know if you can. This is the Jackson we're crossing and we're on Main Street here. So this was Main Street. So maybe there was more businesses down in where these lots are empty now. I don't know. That's some kind of a containers over there. I don't know, tanks or whatever. I don't know what was in them. Maybe heating fuel or something, I don't know. Cross, let's see, this, this, this is Lee Street. Let's turn left. I don't know what's in those tanks. Y'all let us know. You know, went down, we went straight at dead end and came back to the right, so I wanted to come over here. It looks like a little church back here. It is. A little church. Like those old white churches like that, wooden. Let's see what time it's 10.30. I guess maybe they don't have church this Sunday. I don't know if they still have church here or not. Maybe, maybe they'll come here in a little bit, I don't know. Beautiful little graveyard there. Peaceful down here, I can hear the birds. It's Chirpins that drive along, you can see another big open lot where I imagine a house was at one time. Here's one, it looks like it's empty and getting overgrown. To the, are these to the right are nice, you can see those out through there and up there. But this one, definitely somebody has left it and it's a nice house. I don't know. 
Somebody can buy that or not, but I'll tell you what, nice lot, nice house. If you can live out in this area, you got work out here, I guess. Okay, back on the railroad. Okay, I see now this was a railroad town too. All the ones, you see we're crossing over where the tracks would have been right now. All the towns we've done today have been railroad towns. Yeah, I don't know the name of that one coming through there. Would have had a little track, could have been a spur, could have been a... Hold on a minute, I see a little, a little sign right there. Let me back up and see what that says. So they do have a sign here. Glad I saw this. It says, Welcome to Speed, North Carolina. It's in Edgecombe County, North Carolina. It talks about it being the home of General Henry Hughes Shelton and Sergeant Major Perry L. Roberts, retired. They got a little map of the area that we just drove through and it talks about, got numbered places where the town hall is and uh, redevelopment center is and Speed Baptist Church and Manning's Grocery. So town hall is number one. So the town hall is up there where the fire department is now, so up that way. Number six is St. Mary's Episcopal. So we'll, we'll take a ride up there. Looks like this line is brown looking now, but it says Deep Creek Speed Dyke. So it looks like they got a dike that runs all around. So you can see they got the water surrounds the town, Savage Mill Run and Deep Creek Long Branch. So maybe that's what that's for. Back on the road again, taking a left on the Highway 122. There's the town to the left and where the tracks would have run all along the road here. Post office down there, many stores on down there on the left, the gas station. Let's take a right right here. Up ahead, we have that church they were talking about, St. Mary's. Nice, cool looking church they got there. Bell Tower's leaning a little bit. Got a graveyard out to the side, that's an old one. And up here is the fire department, and I guess the town hall is right there with it. Road's a little bumpy, so y'all probably hearing a little squeak in there, but you can do nothing about it right now. But I think we're gonna end it here as we pass the Speed Volunteer Fire Department. Speed North Carolina. I hope y'all enjoyed this walk, talk, and drive of the town center. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.